Welcome. This was the presentation I prepared for students in Oulaisten Lukio for English subject. At the beginning of the session, I uh, prepared a slido so that students will have the opportunity to share their feedback and even questions uh, throughout the presentations. Attendees simply need to join your... There was a brief introduction about myself to make myself familiar a little bit with the students. And then I began the presentation by activating their metacognition in linking their previous knowledge with the topic that I am going to present. The word orang utan is being used because the word orang utan uh, is originated from Malay language, which is the language that I will be discussing with them. And this will indicate or this will demonstrate to them that they actually know a lot of interesting things already in their mind through the interaction they have, the reading they did, and also the popular culture they observe, uh, especially from the internet. And hopefully this will make uh, the presentation more relevant uh, to them and to create some, evoke some awe and wonder. And also, uh, we take the opportunity to um, investigate how much the students know about Malaysia by interacting with them and asking them to identify where probably Malaysia is located. And uh, we discuss a little bit on this. We went uh, a little bit in depth into the geography of Malaysia involving the physical geography as well as the people a little bit. And uh, this part is being uh, customized uh, from one school to another. And this one is what I prepared for the students to give them some perspective how far Finland and Malaysia is. <music> After that, I started to talk with the students in Lukio about uh, the idea of Malay world, which sometimes refer as Malay Austronesia, and the area is extended between Madagascar up to the island of uh, Hawaii. And this is a six percent of the world population. And uh, some fun fact: King uh, Kalakaua from Hawaii, uh, the last king of the island uh, before Hawaii became the state uh, of United States of America. He was a Malay king. And uh, because this is uh, Lukio, the high school, so it might be also interesting to uh, discuss with them a little bit about some proposal proposed uh, by the author of this book regarding the similarities between Malay language and Magyar language, the Hungarian language, which also includes uh, Finnish language. The main point here is to uh, encourage the students to uh, see the world in a more interesting way and how people from different parts of the world were somehow probably uh, connected here and there uh, that will trigger their interest in investigating through multidisciplinary between history, DNA sciences, archaeology, archaeolinguistic and etc. And there was some information about why Malaysia became multi-ethnic uh, uh, and also multicultural nation. It went back to the history where Malaysia is located somewhere in between India and China where uh, these two groups of uh, traders uh, travel uh, from one place to another and many of them uh, made uh, Malaysia as the place where they change goods and, and also at the end they settled down. Uh, and what will be the benefits of having different ethnicities in your community? Uh, it contributes many interesting aspects involving festivals, holidays, uh, food and friends. So what I was trying to show the students is that differences are not necessarily a source of trouble in it goes back to the way you perceive them. If we consider differences as our source to enrich our culture and our life, then it then it will it will become something interesting and useful. After that, I I share a video with the students. Malaysia is situated just north of the equator. 
between Thailand and the end of the presentation. Attendees I, simply need to join. I tried my best to allocate as much time as possible for the students to share their opinion, their feedback. And after visiting several schools, I realized that whenever I reach uh, this part of the presentation, I need to give a little bit extra time for the students to comprehend their understanding and to take the courage to ask uh, questions and share their feedback. And hopefully this short presentation in the video will demonstrate how initially I conduct a session when visiting schools under Erasmus in schools program. The, all the programs are always customizable. This example is for Lukio for students aged between 16 to 19. But for younger kids in Peru's Koldu in comprehensive schools, I have a different uh, presentation which is simpler and less content but more interaction and getting perspective from the students. Thank you.